In this video, you will learn how to automate client onboarding with your agency or your SaaS business using Go High Level. From getting paid to collecting client details, to scheduling an onboarding call, to updating your pipeline, all on autopilot. So you don't have to chase clients manually ever again. Now let's get into it. But before we even talk about funnels or calendars, the first thing we need is a simple onboarding form to collect the info we will need to launch our client's account. First, we head to sites, then forms, and then we click create new form and then start from scratch and call it onboarding form. Include essential fields like first name, last name, phone, email, and we want to make all of our fields required. And here's an example of my onboarding form. I basically ask for every single thing I will need for the A2P phone verification to get a local phone number approved for SMS and calling. And at the end, I also ask for the list of all users to be added to the CRM, name, phone, email, and work schedule. But your account doesn't have all these fields. Let me show you how to create and add them to your form. So you click add object fields and then add. For example, if we need a drop down list of options like this, then we go for drop down single and then click next. And then one by one, you start entering options. And for the group, it really doesn't matter. I always go for the general info and then click save. And for the things like legal business name, I choose single line, then I name it. In this example, legal business name, then I copy it and paste it to the placeholder. Then I select general info group and save. By the way, here's a quick hack. If you need a divider like mine over here, just scroll down the list of form elements until you find text, then drag where you need it and then replace the word with three underscores and then select mid placement and maybe to make it prettier adjust the weight as well like so okay moving on we need to set up our onboarding video call calendar before we start building web funnels once a client has paid and submitted their info we need to schedule a time to help them log into the system and connect everything like google facebook and instagram for example. But before we create a calendar, we first must add ourselves as users to this sub account. Go to settings, my staff, then click add user, then simply enter your information. After that, go to calendar settings section, click connections, and here you can add your calendars, Google Meet and Zoom. After that, click calendars, then click new calendar and select personal booking. Name it as onboarding call and select yourself from the list. Then click advanced settings, Scroll down and change meeting location to either Zoom or Google Meet. Now let's look at the onboarding funnel that guides your clients through the process. You will send them the link and they will have to complete each step one by one. The first step is the payment page. For example, this one over here is for an AI receptionist at $197 per month. Here's how to customize the price and features to match your offer. If we exit the funnel, then we need to go to payments menu section, then click products and then create product. Give it a name and then description is optional. Then scroll down to prices, change type to recurring, adjust the amount and set up fee. I suggest avoiding the trial period. I think it's better to get a payment upfront to confirm their commitment and avoid wasting time. Then scroll down and click save. Now go back to sites, find the payment form, click products, click add product and the thing that we just created should be on the list. Select the product and the price and click save. Now, if we check the pop-up window again, our payment form is updated with the right name and price, as you can see here. Quick tip, when you are on a demo call with a client, make sure to collect payment right there and then to avoid wasting time and money. The second step is the onboarding form page. Add the form that you created earlier so clients can fill it out immediately after paying. Once submitted, they will move to the next step. In step three, add your calendar to let clients book their onboarding call. On this call, you will show them how to use your product, answer questions, and make sure the integrations like Facebook pages, Instagram, and Google My Business are set up properly. And the final step is a thank you page. If you have SaaS mode activated and properly set up, client's account should already be created automatically. So you can include instructions on this page for how to log in into your platform and 
some next steps. Next, let's create an onboarding pipeline to keep everything organized into different stages. Here's an example of mine. I have a column for demo calls, then paid, then after they submit their business information, they are moved to form completed, and then onboarding call stage. And finally, service delivery for my active clients. To adjust or create a pipeline, go to pipelines and then click create pipeline and name it onboarding. For the stages, you can copy mine or adjust them depending on your specific process. But what do you do when you have custom prices and you need to have your clients sign a contract? And here's an example of what I did a couple of days ago. While I was talking to my client and after agreeing on the price, I went on my computer into payments. I created a monthly recurring product with the agreed upon price and then went to create a recurring invoice. I selected the product, then selected the customer, then scroll down to modify the name of the client in this section. As you can see here, by paying this invoice, my client agrees to my terms and conditions. And then I sent an email with this invoice. I waited for my client to pay. And as you can see here in this confirmation email, they paid and then I manually sent the link to the onboarding form. Ever since I started selling Go High Level, I have never asked my client for their signature. I always include a short contract in the invoice. It's much easier that way. Comment below what you think about my methods and if you disagree. Now let's move on to automations. There are three key workflows for this onboarding process. The first one is simply called paid. It's triggered when someone submits an order form. It updates their pipeline stage to paid and sends a confirmation text like, thank you, we've received your payment, please continue with the remaining onboarding steps. Then we wait for one hour before following up about their onboarding form. This is basically for people who paid but haven't filled out the onboarding form yet. Second automation is called onboarding form submitted. This one is triggered when someone completes the onboarding form and it removes them from the first workflow that we just saw so that we don't send that reminder email that was on a one hour wait timer. It then updates the pipeline stage to form submitted. And again, we have this one hour timer and reminders for clients who paid, submitted the form, but have not booked their onboarding video call yet. Third automation is called onboarding call confirmation plus reminders. It's triggered when someone books a call after they submit their form. It updates their pipeline to the onboarding call stage and it sends them confirmation messages by text and email. And after that, it sends reminders before the appointment by email and SMS again. And inside of those messages, we have a link to join the video call using Zoom or Google Meet. And there you go, guys. This setup provides a simple, repeatable system for automating your client onboarding. And if you don't have a Go High Level account yet, use my promo link below to get all of what you've seen in this video ready to go plus extended free trial. I would really appreciate it if you like this video and leave a comment with a question or a topic that you would like me to cover in the next video. Thank you for watching.